can also be to me No one dares to stand before the tiger when he roars Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The tiger can tear apart mercilessly Anyone who dares to stand and give him a challenge The tiger can eat up his wounded tree Leaving nothing but only bones and memory of his free You now abandon me at the hospital, right? No, I did not abandon you. I was only mourning my son. Oh, you were mourning, right? Yes. You were mourning? Yes. Look, I just pray that one day you will learn that the world does not revolve around you alone. Look, Phil, you believe so much in your strength and your might, but I'll tell you, it's going to fail you, Phil, unless you believe that God's will is supreme and that people's views and opinion must be respected. Keep your sermon to yourself. I'll do that. But look, I can take anything from you. I can take just about anything from you, Phil. But not a relationship with an intruder like Jane. I won't take it. Well, it's rest. You need no argument, okay? Please, come sit down. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Can we help you? I'd rather come to help you. Oh, okay. You, you came to wax an album or something. Are you sure you have talent? You don't look it. How much will it cost you to get you off Carol back? Oh, that's, that's cool. 
I didn't know Garo was for sale. Is she for sale? Is it, you either mention a price or expect the unexpected. Oh, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a learned person, but that's quite an ignorant statement for a lawyer, don't you think? Are you threatening me? For your information, Caro is my fiance. And she, for Kagwe, will be happy to see you roasted alive. To hell with you! To hell with you, Stanley! Hey, it's okay. It's okay if your dad wants me to turn to barbecue. It's not it's fine. As for you, Ken. See, the earlier you reconcile with your father, the better for you. Hey, it's not worth it. Come on, just ask it. It's not worth it. If anything happens to Carol, I'm going to kill you with my hands. She doesn't need you. Leave her alone. Be warned, because you're, you're not going to stand between my sister and I. It's okay. I warn you. Hey, get your big ass out of here. Huh? You're warning me too? No, get, get off of here. Look at that ass kiss, he's warning me too. We thought he came to wax an album, man. Come on, can you it? Hey, finish the song. Man, I have to talk to Dad. Fine. This is getting out of control. I know, but finish the song. We need to pay bills first. Finish the song. Walk, walk, walk. Look at that ass kiss, that's all your dad pays him for. Imagine that kind of guy hooking up with Carol. What does Carol say in that king size? Which he ass kiss him. Yeah, buy my hussy, big ass. Well, what is the shop rules? Chief, you are exaggerating the situation. My son. I lost my son. They are surmountable problem, Chief. What are your prescriptions? Your son has made a decision, has made a choice. Is he replaceable? The answer is yes. Your wife has left you. And as a chief, you cannot afford to be lonely. You can marry again. And if possible, have a mistress. No. Count that option out. I cannot remarry. I'm almost 60 for God's sake. I can only think of a grandchild. But that's where Carol comes in. Leave Carol to me. I will burn this steam out of her and she will be hard, cap in hand. Sounds easy. But I have my doubts. Leave everything to me. I will see the result of my action. And I uh, will be proud. Just make sure no one comes to my daughter. I assure you. I promise. Is that okay? Actions lately invited me here. Get out of here now. Or I'll send the security man to throw you out. No. It's easy in your tongue to dish out orders right now. Ken, you're talking to your man. Melanie, shut up! It's never good your head. Look, Dad. I feel posed by the way you go about this whole thing. Is that your business? Hey, come on. You have no stake in Philip's holding. Wrong. You're wrong, Dad. I have every stake in it. Anyway, that's not the issue right now. I took your disclaimer. Then secondly, you, I didn't say anything to you when you allowed me to rot in prison for a crime I did not commit. But there is only one thing I will not take from you. But what is it that you will take? You see Carol hurt by anyone. She's about the only thing I have left. No one, I mean, no one forces her into unhealthy relationship. That you left the studio yesterday was only a favor from God. Go out there, pick a girl and take your grip. As far as I am concerned, 
Philip's legacy will not get into the head of a gold digger. Can you call me a gold digger? Don't you get it? It even stinks when you talk. You're worse than that. Stanley, I have warned you. Stay away from my sister if you don't want this whole game to turn bloody. <laughs> Listen, boy. If you think you're here to piss me off, of course, yes, you have succeeded. But if you think you're here to frighten me, then you have failed. Dad, you disgust me. You not only peel all the wounds, you wickedly make them bleed fresh hot blood. You talk to me like that? I am talking to a stone-hearted man who cannot differentiate war front from family home front. Stanley, you have my words. I warn you for the last time. Stay away from my sister. And need I remind you of one last thing. A tiger can only give birth to a tiger. Listening to the writings of a uh, disenchanted prodigal son. Huh? Never mind. If he dares me again, oh God, I swear, I'll lock him up. Small boy. <laughs> Don't mind him. The tiger is strong. The tiger is fearless. Strong enough to take down anything that crosses his path. The tiger is brave, so determined. Yes, really wonderful having you around. I What's your mission in this house? I'm asking you, I said, what is your mission in this house? Stop the back to this girl. Please, please stay out of this. And you, Jane, I'll be watching you from now on. I'll be watching every single move you make in this house. And if you flutter, <laughs> look, you'll be out of this house before you know it. And be sure that Carol will get to you on this one. What have I done? What have I done? Don't push me! Don't push me! Please, girl, you know! Then give me some, or stop meddling into my affairs.
May God is taking this time to fall. I believe it's time to face reality. No. I believe it's time to be a man. Not my experience. Anger breeds distress. Mistakes. We don't need that now. Helen was such a nice woman. How can a man be that fool, Heidi? No one means anything to him. Then just stay alone and eat up his own fish. I don't agree with you. You know, we need to follow this with a lot of caution. You know, call your father some privileges as well. Okay, it's easy to keep Ken as a man. But um, you, now nah, that's a different matter. You're a woman. I come from a home where respect is more like clothes. So are you saying I should find someone else to stay? No. I'm saying I think you should go home and handle this. So let me explain further. You need to understand how delicate this is. Your father cannot afford to have strangers around him now. He needs people he is close to, used to. This war can only be won from the heart. And not with muscles and rebellion. Nobody knows what this gene girl is up to next. So you need to go home. Um, I'm Carol, I guess, what I call this one. You have to be near home to know what's happening. No way, Max. No, Carol. You have to be home. You have to go home. I know I have to talk to Dad, but you have to be there. It's okay, Carol. Yeah. Just lay off for now. Let us sleep on it. She'll come around. Tiger is strong, the tiger is fearless, strong enough to take down anything that crosses his path. You're lucky I'm in a very good mood today. So to me, you little brat. And before the tiger when he roars. <laughs> The tiger can tear apart me ceaselessly. Anyone who dares to stand against him may challenge. The tiger can. <laughs> oh, he was so silly on that day, you know. <laughs> you know the <dead. laughs> Now, now! Put up, you're not even ashamed of yourself! Now, listen, Whatever. I gave you two weeks. 
two weeks to decide on your marriage with Stan or get ready to leave my house. Listen, isn't it time you lived in your husband's house? For God's sake, I'm a woman's husband. Now, get out, out. Nonsense. I swear I will deal with you. Get out. Get out. Face have those terrible pains, and I want to know what the problem is. You know, it's just really hard when you have things to say and you don't get the chance to say them. And how do you mean? That's what Daddy's doing. He never listens. Neither would he let you talk. Um, come on, but that's not new. You should have been used to that already. It's worse than that, Kim. I mean, Dad is going crazy. Don't say that. You can't say such thing. He's still our father. You know that. Ken, you don't believe that is now sleeping with my friend, Jim. But this is absurd. Is she still in the house? So now I may be taking instructions from her. Oh my God. So um, what do we do? Nothing. I think you should do nothing. Why? What do you have against your father anyway? Alright, fine. Your war against him is because he's trying to fix you a husband. That's enough. The other one's purely logical. The man must be accorded some privileges. He's African. He can pick as many mistresses or concubines or wives as he desires. But he has to hold up your responsibilities. And that's what this is all about. So, you don't need this war right now. I think what is really annoying you it's maybe because he picked your best friend as a mistress. And I have every right to be angry, don't I? Um, of course, Carol, you have every right to be angry, but Paul is right once more. You have to go home and watch over that. I think that girl is up to some dangerous agenda. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for your concern. And always remember to pray. And uh, while you're at it, um, remember Ken and I born to love any cooking now. We are just chilling, so please do all the justice, eh? Do that food. So, well, let's dig in. Just look at him first. Mm -hmm. 
say. Did I hear you right? Yeah, you heard me right. You must be joking. No joke. But I warned you. I warned you in the heat of passion when you said it was okay. Now what am I supposed to tell my friend Carol? <laughs> I do not expect you to take Carol out of any exception. You're not sensible. How am I going to hide it from her? Well, terminate it. I'll give you 20,000 hours to do that. And you can keep the change. Me terminate the pregnancy. I'm sorry, I won't do that. Just keep your money. Then get ready to leave my house. Oh, yeah. Now let me warn you. Who would tell you if anyone else, apart from all of us, hears about this? Because I'm going to stuff life out of you. No matter what you think you can hide. You want to kill me? But Phil, you said you were going to be there for me no matter what the circumstances are. But were they, were they bedtime, empty bedtime promises you, you made to me? Save your foolishness. Stop talking like you are an older 18. Be warned. Anyway, uh, I'll keep this pregnancy. Then you can start getting ready to leave my house. For God's sake, I didn't tell I wanted a wife. I only needed a mistress. So the cat is finally out of the bag. I foresaw this, Daddy, and I warned against it. What did you foresee? Now, Carol, stop that. Do you understand? Daddy, don't even pretend, okay? Because I heard everything. Eugene, you're not going anywhere. All you need to do is go back into your room and just relax. Think deeply about what you want to do with the pregnancy. If you want to keep it or you want to terminate it, it's your choice. She has no option. Daddy, just keep your prejudice, okay? I mean, you needed a son at all costs and here you are throwing one away. Listen, I give you 24 hours. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to keep you in this house. In my own house with this the tiger is strong. pregnancy. The tiger is fearless, strong enough to take down anything that crosses path. The tiger is brave, you, you so determined. No one dares to stand before the tiger when he roars. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? The tiger can tear apart, mercilessly. Anyone who okay, dares to stand, they give you make When you, you just have to cheer up, okay? I cannot be a party to an abortion. You know, Carl, sometimes I wish I, I had a heart like yours. It's okay. All you have to do is that you have to be strong. Okay? Just stay. Don't move. My dad is not going to kill you. Mm. Alright? He'll definitely mellow with time. Don't worry. I'm really scared of you. He's not going to do anything like that. Don't worry. You know what? I'm geek for a serious meeting at the office now, so I just have to go. Okay. Take care, bye. Take Me, you guys just finished um, recording your new song. Can I listen to it? Sure. Yo, Mike, um, Mike, let, let's let, let a good lady. Right. See you again for
So hey, you're not going to regret putting your money in this project. Definitely. I want to show you I win the MTV award. Are you serious? Definitely. 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 Grammy is not the MTV. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a Grammy then. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, what do you say? We'll go fire, like, go get something to eat, and then. Oh, the yeah, album. I'm hungry. Okay. Let's go. Hi, guys. What would the press say? To be too bad. Very bad. See, I guess the best thing to do is to accept her and let her rise the relationship. You need to do that. You mean I should marry her officially? You have no option, Chief. If your political record is to remain straight. Believe me. Maybe right. Carlos said the same thing. The car well boy. You can imagine your job, Chief. If Jane should give you a call.
It's a lovely day A day I cannot see again for ever It's a lovely day Just to make it Don't have to be the excuses for being a friend Hey daddy, you sent for me Yes I just thought I should let you know that I have decided that I'm going to marry Jane so I can keep her baby. How about that? It's too late, Daddy. How do you mean? She asked me to give it to you. What's that about? Just take a look at it. to agree on the point. You've always said I'm not your son, but today I say otherwise. My words, they stand! 
Yes. I understand. Yada, you baby. But you. Why have you forgotten? Dad, what have you been able to achieve with your high handedness? You lost your first wife, my mother. Sent the second one packing after abandoning her in the hospital and impregnating Carol's friend. Then to share your sense of rationality, you scared her away, losing the same son you badly needed. A wise man would have kept her till she puts to bed and probably gives you a son. Now the whole hate has been transferred to my sister, your own daughter. <laughs> what courage! What boldness! Okay. Wait for me. Wait! That look how we are fighting this. Thank you! I don't care if I think it's a doctor! Give me one minute! Are you trying to do happened to me. I, the tiger, you know, a general in the army, a general of all generals. Margaret, 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 oh my God! Mommy, Somebody help me! Mommy, mommy. Somebody help me! And now, my old house is in turmoil. supposed to be the heir to my empire has now become a musician and an entity. What? 
Sí. Actually, beginning to fall in love with you too. You can say that again. And I'm still amazed at your multi faced attitude towards life. Meaning? You know that an arrogant woman abuser like yourself could be the same gentleman that is just still in my heart away. <laughs> Don't confuse yet. How is your bonus love you? The very first day of are you serious? God, you've told me that before, so don't worry. So you love me? If you do look into my eyes, I'm I love safe. you. I've told you that many times. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. You believe me. Please, she gave me three, two, one, and I'm going to sit in front of you like this, huh? Thank you so much, huh? My daughter. Dad, have you been spying on Of course, yes, I've been enjoying the whole thing, huh? It's so wonderful to see both of you getting along smoothly. Ah! Uh, uh, Chief, I'll be going because I'm going to meet an embattled client. Ah, uh, come on, let him remain embattled. He can't ruin a beautiful moment like this. I'm sorry, I have to go. Okay, if you must. At least I can still see you at Qatar. Good. I'm on a slide. It's good. Hey, my daughter. <laughs> stand, stand. The tiger is strong. The tiger is fearless. Strong enough to take them anything that crosses his path. The tiger is brave. So dear to me. Look, don't even bring up the idea of the setup. The price I paid for your freedom is not negotiable at all. Carol. Forget about negotiations. No one negotiates with the devil. How do you mean? About that lady I met at the station. I think I know her. You know Jane? The so-called mother of Junior. <laughs> what are you insinuating? There is no insinuation here, Carol. Something sinister is happening in your house. Um. Please, Dr. Jerry, can't you go straight to the point? That boy. That boy cannot be James' son. This is serious insinuation, you know. And I swear to God, my father is going to skin you alive if he gets to hear about this. Carol, I repeat, this is no insinuation. Jane is not capable of having a child. Not the Jane that I know. At least. Not a child below two years of age. No, um, Jerry. I think this is a good time to tell us if this is true or if you're joking. Because if it's a joke, I think you should call it off. I've been in and out of jail. And I'm not going back to jail on account of this Chief Philip and his mistress thing. 
washing my hands clean. Can you prove it? Yes. Can you? It was exactly two years ago. That was before I traveled in the sea. That is very easy for any desperate woman, especially knowing that there are one million and thousand kids rolling the streets looking for an opportunity to be adopted at the orphanages. How about if she denies the charges? Hmm? Not in today's medical world. The DNA test will prove all that wrong. You know, this is where we have to be careful. Ken, you being the heir apparent to Philip's vast empire, this is where you come in. We need to conduct this with the utmost secrecy. If this girl suspects foul play, she will disappear. You need a physician, first of all, to prove the DNA. And secondly, you need a lawyer to concretize this whole thing and then we'll move in on her. Are you clear? Look, my father is going to kill you if this turns out to be wrong. Um, then, coupled with the fact that his health has been crumbling lately, mm. this could be disastrous. Carol. You have a very important role to play here, especially to douse the tension. Oh, yeah, 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 Carol, you need to chill out. You know what, let's go inside. So we'll marshal out what everybody ought to do, and then we'll take it from there. But, but please, let, let, me, let me go. I'll see you guys. Okay. It's a lovely day. Today I cannot see again forevermore. It's a lovely day I've got to give my best Just to make things work 
Don't have to give excuses for being a failure. I just want to. You don't need to go to a hospital. I said, let me take you to a hospital. He said, no. Eh? Please. I don't know why you're so stubborn. Die, you will not die. to get out now. Get out! No. I am your only son, Dad. What Jane has for you is another man's son. It's true, Dad. Daddy, listen to reasons for once. I mean, why did Jane have to leave the house over such a little quarrel? With no letter, no information on where she was until she gave birth to the child. Daddy, where is the child's birth certificate? Except for a baptismal care. Daddy, she knew you needed a son at all costs, and she provided it as a way to have a hold on your vast wealth. Liars! How do you know? Blackmailers! Daddy, I want you to make something. Dr. Jerry wants something. To kill you slowly and avoid risk of You might lose me because of this insult. Do you realize? Chief Philip, um, this is Dr. Jerry. He let a cart out of the bag the day he met Jane. He signed it here to confirm your relationship with Jane. Yes, Chief. Chief, um, I don't care to know the difference between you and Ken. Chief, this is purely a professional and ethical matter and a service to save the unity of a family that is under threat. Go straight to the point and stop beating about the bush. Yes, sir. Sir. And call me Chief. Oh, sir. Uh, Chief. Chief, you see, Jane was my patient two years ago before I traveled to London for my masters. Her illegitimate pregnancy was aborted by a quack doctor who did a very nasty job on her chief. Her fetus and of course her womb. An accomplice, probably out of fear, left her in front of my hospital where I eventually picked her up. Chief, the damage was beyond repairs. She was, her womb was badly damaged. And she needed to undergo a surgical operation to stay alive to this moment, Chief. 
If what you are telling me is not true, I will not hesitate to deal with all of you. From the while, I know who I have a son. Philip's Judah is my own son. Stop the grimy Dr. Nora is a personal physician. All he needs are the blood of Junior's blood to run the team in taste. If you're part of the making of Junior, we will all find out. Yes, Chief. You may also consider going to a private organization to confirm this. I am not your enemy, Doctor. No one here is. Your enemy lives with you and sleeps on the same bed. serves you so that you can confirm the source of the aspirin and the reason of your falling health. Eat nothing cooked by her, not even coffee. The result will be ready in 24 to 48 hours. Please don't stay the life until we are sure. Aren't you coming with me for Jonas' blood? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Excuse me. Thank you. Exactly, what's going on in this house? I don't know. Tell me. Are you trying to pretend to me or what? I say I don't know. So tell me. Yes. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, come, come right away. Yes. Okay. Thank you. For the past two days or more, you have refused to eat the food that I cook. Is it Carol you now trust? Leave Carol out of this, okay? And be reminded that I am just recovering, so I need a lot of rest. Do you understand? You need rest. You need rest. Well, there shall be no rest for you as long as you keep treating me like a stranger in this house. Enough! I'm no longer interested in this discussion. <laughs> One does shall never end. So is it Carol that is now your wife and the mother of your child? Look, I'm his daughter and nothing can change that. I mean, my father can have as many wives and girlfriends as he wants. But Carol remains the only irreplaceable daughter of Chip Philip. That's right. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> Fake madam. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear what she just called me? Philip, you're going to have to choose between me and your daughter right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's no choice to make. Carol remains my daughter. In other words, my daughter is my daughter. And so be it. I'll leave your house. And I'm taking Junior along with me. Well, betide if you ask me where I'm going or what exactly I'm doing from now on. Excuse me. Look at my arms. Look at my hands. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Are you actually asking me to leave your house? You heard me. Stop me. Perhaps until Jesus returns. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Whatever is the cause of this your strange behavior, I will soon find out. 
I will know very soon. Yes, you will find out. Yes, my son. Jane, you came to this house to plant the seed of this car. You succeeded, yes you did. But you forgot God was watching you. What is he talking about? What are you talking about? I've caught this thing now. You no longer hold that secret anymore. You're a child thief. What? Me, a child thief? My own son, I stole my own son. Arrest her! Everything from the office documents, from his drugs, from. So, how would that Oh, well, it's all working out as planned. Uh -huh. Everything's fine. What about Carol and uh, Ken? Oh, well, you know, Ken is still in Chief's bag of books. And as for Carol, oh, she's so confused. She is so, so confused. That's wonderful. Uh, um, Jay, see, I want you to handle this thing very well. As of me, no problem. The success of this game is dependent on two of us. Exactly. And I would not like Shift to be a bit, uh, a little bit wiser on this. I will do just that. Play it well. I won't let you down. Trust me. Okay. I can trust you. Right. Let me go before Chief comes back. I have to get home before he gets back. Uh. Jane, please don't fail to call me. I will, I will do that. Please. Take care. Yes, From the poison! Stanley! Stanley, I warned you! She's lying, Chief. Can I explain? Take him away. Can I explain? No, she she said I arrest them! Take them out of my father's house! Let's go. When you get out, it's special arrested man. Oh, no. Take her away. Please forgive me, Chief. Bring that woman, Oh, my please. friend, please help me out. Please help me, madam. It was a devil. Please, I'm so sorry. Please help me. Please help me. It's a lovely day, a day I cannot see again forevermore. It's a lovely day, got to give my best just to make things work. Don't have to give excuses for being a failure. I just want to do things right Just to see my dreams come true Come true I will hang on and never give up Despite the odds I will strive I will strive And leap over the walls of the mountain Keep in my head up Keep in my head up Believe it
Don't have to give excuses for being a failure. I just wanna do things right, just to see my dreams come true, come true. I will hang on and never give up, despite the odds. I will strive, I will strive and leap over the walls and the mountains. It's a lovely day, a day I cannot see again forevermore. It's a lovely day, I've got to give my best just to make things work. Oh, don't have to give excuses for being a failure. I just want to do things right, just to see my dreams come true, come true. I will hang on and never give up, despite the odds I will strive, oh, I will strive and leap over the walls and the mountains, keeping my head up, keeping my head up.